everybody this is pastor bonnie and it is sunday afternoon i just wanted to spend a little bit of time with you guys and i wanted to work on a new painting so i love doing the palette knife ones and so these are the palette knives that we're going to be using and then we're going to be doing thick body paint so these are our colors so we have medium magenta, we have brilliant purple, we have chrome oxide, we have emerald green, we have titanium white, and we have yellow white. So I'm going to move these out of the way. <laughs> this is going to be a really simple painting. It's just going to be... <clears throat> a little field of flowers and in case I need it I have modeling paste. I did one of these the other day and I listed it on my dragonfly corners at Etsy.com and it sold as fast as I listed it. So I have to make another one which that's a great problem to have right? So I want the background just to have a little tiny bit of pink in it. Pink and purple is going to be the primary colors. So we're just going to whoops put on the um, white paint first and then I'm going to take just a titch of the pink and I think I'm going to go ahead and um, use my my painting brush so we just want to get it on the background and this one this one's going to be quick and easy and fun I hope you guys are having a great weekend um, we had a really great time. We went to church today and had a wonderful service. Um, it's just always uplifting to get to church and be around other believers and listen to the praise and worship. So it was just uh, really great and uplifting. So for us, that's what we like to do on our Sundays. And then we like to, my husband and I are, um, empty nesters so it's just me and him and we go out to eat and then see what other kinds of fun things we can do so it's been a really fun day so then now and I do want some texture in the background so now that I have that on there I'm gonna go ahead and put some more of the white over the top of it just for the texture which is exactly the look I'm looking for this one's just really simple, really easy. Anybody can do it. You're not going to be drawing anything. But I just love these textured ones. They are so much fun. So I always keep a wet washcloth handy. It's a lot easier just to get the paint off the um, tools. And um, so I always have a pile of washcloths handy. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to go back to using that very same tool and I'm going to use, pick up the dark green first and then just kind of make some pretty stems. And actually, you just kind of cut them into it and then actually I'm going to use this little skinny one so I can get kind of some actually I don't care for that so we'll fix it and I'm just kind of cutting these in I, I do want some yeah see it's kind of have, make like pretty little leaves when you put like a little blob at the top It's just peaceful and relaxing you know it's kind of this is um, just a quiet day it's it's a little chilly outside it's windy so this is just really nice and then you know there's kind of a lot of scary stuff going on in the world this week in the news they've been talking about banking closures and Donald Trump getting arrested and you know, kind of, nobody really knows what's going on. 
but I have my faith and confidence in the Lord and I know he's going to keep us all safe and we're going to get through all this stuff. So doing a painting like this is kind of relaxing. It takes your mind off of it. Now what I'm going to do is add some flowers with the round one and I'm going to just start with the pink. You make some kind of big petals and then at the top we'll do just little tiny ones. But these are just so pretty. And like I said, this one will be really simple. We'll go back and add some more leaves. I love doing these. And I show you guys, you're, you take the back like that and um, just scoop it on. I just love these. And then we're going to put some purple ones. And like I said, this one's going to be really simple and elegant looking when it's done. But anyway, you know, I am a firm believer that whatever is going to happen, the Lord will be with us. He will, his truth is going to prevail in all these situations. And he uses everything for our good. So we don't have anything to fear. And I think, you know, we need to be wise. I'm not going to go pull all my money out of the bank, which that's that would be not a good thing. If everybody did that, then, you know, then we would be in trouble, right? So I'm just going to sit back and, and go to work like normal and not really be worried or concerned about it. Because whatever happens, God will give us wisdom. That's a cool part. When you know the Lord, he gives you such a peace in whatever circumstances you're going through. And for myself, I met the Lord when I was 16 years old. I grew up in a, an alcoholic family. And both my parents were very bad alcoholics, very lovely people, but they just got caught up in drinking. At first it was for fun, and then they got addicted to it. So it did have really bad consequences in our family. And I met this lady, there was just something different about her. She came up to my house and she said that Jesus died for me and that he had a plan for my life. And I didn't understand the words, but I, I wanted what she had. So I said this simple prayer. I said, dear Jesus, I ask you to forgive me and make yourself real to me. And he did. In that moment, I just jumped up and I started screaming, he's real, he's real. So the Lord will make himself real to you in your own special way. And, you know... It's never, I've never looked back. That was the very best decision I ever made for myself. And now Jesus is so real. And I can honestly tell you, he's really my best friend. He talks to me. He tells me things that I need to know. You know, I don't hear audible voices by that. What I mean is he'll talk to me on the inside. And he'll, I'll hear like the whisper, you know. So now I'm just doing white, a little bit of white. And it's just been just incredible that he loves us so much. And he loves us right where we are. We don't have to be perfect. We don't have to tidy up our life for him to come and be part of it. He just accepts us where we are. So I just want to encourage you. You know, it's not about religion. It's about a relationship. And he does, he knows how to make himself real. Isn't that pretty, you guys? So then, we're going to add some leaves. And then I want to use, I'm going to use this one. And I think I'll put just a little bit of yellow. And I'll just put some pretty leaves in. See how quick and easy this is, you guys? 
I love talking to you though while I'm doing this. I usually tell stories. I've actually seen angels and some of my videos have those stories and and um, you know I've had special things happen in my life that I share and you know it's just every person's journey is different and God made us all unique individuals. He has a special plan for your life. Maybe somebody just needs to hear that today and be encouraged that that you're not forgotten or forsaken and that you matter and you do matter and you're very special and you are loved no matter what hard things you've gone through or what choices you've made there's always a new beginning see guys you add a little bit more and a little bit more I think now what I'm going to do is just do some like little tiny, little tiny kind of buds. You guys, look how quick this was. This didn't even take five minutes. And, um, and I've got a beautiful painting. And the fun part is... Um, this, these will just dry and you can put layer on layers until you get it the way you want it. Yours won't look like mine. They are going to be very different because we're each individuals. I just put some pretty little leaves down on the bottom. Oh, I just love this, you guys. I'll probably do, I have another one I want to try with some trees I'd like to do, like a kind of a fantasy tree that's white, all white, with um, a pretty background on it. So that'll be another, for another day. Oh, I just love this. It came out so good. It's just what I wanted. And then I'm going to hold it up so you can see it. Isn't that beautiful? And that's it. That's all I'm going to do. What I do like to do is when it dries, I'll sign the bottom with a white pen. So this is finished. And you saw how quick that was. It didn't even, it took us like 10 minutes to make that. So I hope that that has been joyful and relaxing and I do always want to tell you guys I am an ordained minister and if you need any prayer I'm here for you you can just leave me a comment and a lot of people do do that and I do pray over this channel that you'll feel comforted and loved on and special because you are God loves you he has a plan for your life thank you so much for spending this time with me God bless.